This is an extremely elegant way to make a single refrigeration circuit maintain two very different temperatures in two locations with no moving parts, other than the compressor, of course. I would never have thought that splitting the evaporator into two sections in series like this would work, but it does. There are, however, downsides, of course. When the compressor first kicks on, only the fridge section gets cold. It takes a while for the freezer section to start seeing liquid refrigerant, most likely because at startup, the refrigerant lines and walls are so warm that the refrigerant can get all the energy it can possibly absorb from right here. Only once this section is actually cold does the freezer start to see any cooling. That's not a huge problem, but it means we need fairly long cycle times to ensure the freezer works properly. However, they were clever enough to make sure that the front of the freezer gets that cooling first, helping ensure areas near to the vulnerable door seal get chilled immediately. 